In the last video, we discussed about various components of a time series like train, seasonality and irregular component. We also discussed about additive model and multiplicative model of a time series. In this video, we'll talk about how to decompose a time series model into its components like train and seasonality using our programming language. We'll also see what would happen if you remove the train or seasonality from a time series data. Let us load the air passengers data in our studio. If you pass this data through the plot function, then we will get the time series plot of this data. This is the same airlines passenger data which we have used in the previous video. Now let us see how we can use R to decompose a time series into its components. To decompose a time series, we use a function called decompose. This function decomposes the time series into trained, seasonal and random components using an additive model by default. In case you want to decompose a time series using a multiplicative model, then use the setting type and set that as equal to multiplicative. The values of the trained season and random components can be obtained from this decompose object using the dollar sign. For example, this will give the trend of the time series. The trend is calculated using a method of moving average for calculating the trend. Now let us remove this trend from the time series to get the trend adjusted time series. To get the trend adjusted time series for additive model, we simply subtract the trend from the original series. This will give us a series which has no trend. In the same way, to get the trend adjusted time series for multiplicative time series model, we simply divide the trend from the original series. And this will also give us a series which has no trend. We can also get a season adjusted time series by removing the seasonal component from the original time series. Like before, for an additive model, we can simply subtract the seasonal component from the time series. This will leave us with a time series containing only the trend and the irregular component. Finally, let us see how we can plot all the components of a time series in a single plot. Just use the object which stores the time series decompositions, additive or multiplicative, and pass it through the plot function. This will plot the components of a time series in a single plot, like this. Well, if you're serious about learning time series modeling and forecasting, then you should do the practical as you watch the videos. However, if you're here just to get an overview of it, you can skip it though. In the next few videos, we're going to talk about a very interesting fundamental model of time series called exponential smoothing.